When it comes to digital media, it seems to be the preference for many people just to want to be told what to believe and not to find out things for themselves or to think for themselves. It also seems to be a huge thing that people take advantage of that to bully other people. I was recently watching a video about a person who was a gamer on TikTok and a few other people who were jealous of them decided that they really wanted to hurt them. So they put out a bunch of false information. The consequence being that the person about whom the false information was put out on, that person ended up unaliving themselves. The thing is, the way social media works these days, it's so easy for that kind of thing to happen. This is not the first time that it's happened and it won't be the last time. People get ideas in their heads. They get a half of an idea on something or somebody and they might not have that first fact correct. So they go looking for stories to corroborate that first fact but because they haven't got it right in the first place. They're coming up with stories that aren't correct in the first place. I remember ages and ages ago, someone deciding that Shan's last name was something totally random, unverified and incorrect. And people were putting out this false name and putting out information about this random person because someone had got the name wrong in the first place. And that happens all the time on the internet. But regardless of that, the point I'm trying to get to today is about people not taking the time to question other people's motives when they're putting out information. There seems to be people who choose to believe information if it's scurrilous, if it sheds someone in a bad light because it makes them feel better about themselves. What does that say about our society? We need more people who are independent thinkers, people who are going to question people's stories that are put out on social media and ask what is the motivation for doing this in the first place. So when Ryan popped up again a week or so back, there were also a number of creators that popped up as well, talking about Ryan and about Kylie Rodney. And one which I'd heard Shan talk about quite a bit, but I hadn't come across myself, was BX Beastie. I like his way of thinking. This guy is a rational thinker and an independent thinker. He's a good example of how people should be thinking when they're watching things on YouTube or listening to podcasts or engaging with any sort of social media. I'm going to play a clip from one of his videos because this is one that I think resonates quite a lot at this current point in time. And I think he's spot on. Right, Actual people that have gone through stuff and you just out here throwing stuff on people's name because you dislike them, you envy them, you just want to slander them, you want to try to get people off the scent of your nastiness, so you label somebody as that just to just to see if it sticks. So even though your fans, they, they dumbasses, and they're going to run with that information and go around and just spread it 
right? Without even validating it or checking the validity, n- none of that. But people are nasty enough to do that just to just to really hurt someone, right? 